Hi, I'm Nancy Bailey Strong from St. Matthew's Parish in Worcester. In the seventh chapter of Luke's Gospel, there's a story about a dinner party where Jesus is the guest of honor. There's a lot of coming and going at this party and a lot of interest in the guest list. An uninvited guest appears and she approaches Jesus weeping, bathes his dusty and calloused feet with her tears and dries them with her unpinned hair. It's an over-the-top, inappropriate and taboo act, a breach of propriety in the extreme. And the host decides that Jesus can't possibly be a righteous man or a prophet. Otherwise, Jesus would have known who this woman was and not allowed her to touch him. But Jesus, apparently reading his host's mind, tells him an after-dinner tale about two debtors and the creditor who wipes the slate clean for both of them. Which of the debtors do you suppose loved the creditor more, Jesus asks. And his host responds, well, I suppose it was the one who had the largest debt. That's a no-brainer. Jesus then points out all the ways in which his host has failed to do the expected acts of hospitality. No water to wash Jesus' feet, no kiss of peace at the greeting, no ointment for anointing, while the weeping woman has done all of these things. Jesus says very simply that because she has been forgiven much, she loves much and he tells her to go in peace, saved by her faith. Great love seems to be connected with an awareness of having had our slates wiped absolutely clean. I suspect that for some of us, that's asking a lot. Do we really feel that we've been forgiven for very much at all? How great then is our capacity for the love of God? Would you and I be willing to wear our hearts on our sleeves to express that love? Maybe we could try that.